Thank you for joining me on my masterclass. Now today, I'm going to talk to you about your money. Your money is at risk. And it's not just uh, you watching whatever country. It's a global thing. You know, our money is in the banks. We are at risk. And the reason is just because the world right now has uh, entered into a series of unfortunate uh, events that have, um, so to say, constricted the financial market, constricted finances. So what we're seeing right now is that because of the Russia Ukraine war, and then before that, the global so uh, supply chain crisis, and then some of other issues, we're seeing that uh, the banking industry is a bit shaky right now. So we're seeing like uh, some of the biggest banks, like, you know, in the whole world, I think uh, probably the biggest bank will be Bank of America. And then, you know, you go down, you know, you have a Deutsche Bank, you've got Credit Suisse, you know, HSBC. Those are the biggest banks here in the world. Now, right now, Deutsche Bank and Credit Suisse are in hot water. They're having some serious issues. Uh, if you um, uh, follow the stock market, you see that, that they've lost a lot of their value. You know, their stocks have really tumbled uh, by as much as a combined uh, uh, between the two of them, Credit Suisse and Deutsche Bank. Uh, they've lost about 90% of their value. Now, what's happening is because of uh, the challenges that the world is seeing. You see, in the United States, they're having some of the, high, in fact, not some of the, the highest inflation that they've had in the past 40 years. And it might go higher. So right now, inflation in the United States is 8.3. In, uh, in, in the United Kingdom, it's higher. It's about 9.2. Uh, you know, in some parts of continental Europe, it's even higher than that. It's never been that way since the Thatcher and Reagan years. Now, that's so just one part of the issue. Now, the other part of the issue is that, you know, we're seeing that uh, the housing market is about to go into a bubble. In fact, in some places, like in Florida, it's actually gone into a bubble. And with Forbes magazine, now Forbes magazine is probably the preeminent economic magazine when you're talking about things like uh, the housing market, where to live, and stuff like that. And then they're predicting that we're going to see the greatest uh, shedding of value in house prices since the Great Depression. Now, when was the Great Depression? The Great Depression was... Uh, 1929 to 1939, so a 10-year period. And so they're reporting that you know, housing markets, you know, houses are going to share as much as 40% of their value and some more. In places like Hong Kong, they're saying that the housing, the housing market is going to share about 30% of its value. In places like you know, other places in the world, some parts of America and continental Europe, they're looking at 40%. So it's, a, it's, a, it's an issue. Why? Because you see, the banks are having uh, challenges right now. The reason why they're having challenges right now is because of a lot of bad debts, a lot of bad debt. And a lot of the debts that these banks hold is tied up in the housing market. So if you have the housing market doing very badly, and then the banks already, before the housing market are doing very badly, are, are, are now shaking. See, that's a double whammy. It's a double whammy. So it's, it's, a, it's a major issue. And then, you see, how did you get here? We had a global pandemic with COVID-19. And when we had the global pandemic with COVID-19, there was a lot of free money, a lot of free money. Governments all over the world were giving people free money. You know, I mean, you just stay at home and you're getting free money. And when you have a lot of free money, the tendency, the human tendency is that you want to go out and buy. And so people were buying houses. A lot of people were buying houses. And the reason why a lot of people were buying houses was, was driven by fear. What was happening is that, you know, um, a lot of people were going to leave, like, city centers. They wanted to leave, like, uh, central New York. They wanted to leave, like, uh, uh, San Francisco. They wanted to leave, like, Miami. They wanted to leave, like, New uh, London, you know, Paris, and then go to the suburbs where there were fewer people and where there's a um, population density is much lower because of the fear of the pandemic. So there were a lot of house houses. And so that forced the housing market to just go up by 40%. Now, right now, there's a, a price correction because it was artificial and it's affecting all sectors of the economy. It's affecting even, because like right now, you know, uh, because of the uh, COVID-19 lockdown, a lot of people don't even have to work at the office. They can work from home. And so, you know, right now we're having a lot of, uh, let's say, inventory in the market. House prices are tanking. And then the U.S. Federal Reserve, they're trying to fight inflation. You know, so they're increasing interest rates. So like maybe just a year ago, you know, 18 months ago, interest rates in the, in the United States were something like maybe 3%, 2.85. Uh, uh, but right now, interest rates in the United States are as high as 6%, 5.75, 6%. Oh, it's got doubled. So it's a major issue. It's leading to uh, uh, housing market being more expensive. So obviously now what's going to happen is like, 
there's going to be a lot of foreclosure. There's going to be a lot of homes in the market because people can afford those homes. And then guess who has given them loans to buy those homes? Banks. Now, if you have a situation whereby banks, you know, are not able to get their money back, they're going to start collapsing. Now, a lot of you may be in places like Nigeria, Tanzania, Vietnam, you know, India, Bangladesh. You're going to say, what does this have to do with me? Well, here's the thing. The banks in your countries, you know, a lot of the money that they have are money that they actually got from these big banks. You know, Bank of America, HSBC, Credit Suisse, Deutsche Bank. You know, that's, that's what's happening with them. And so, it's if these banks are in trouble, it's going to there's going to be like a domino effect. So these banks are at the top of the pyramid. So there's going to be a domino effect with all the banks. You know, so that's just the, the the challenge. Now, because of that, you know, banks are at risk. You know, so there's a lot of the, the World Bank and Standard and Poor's and um, Deloitte and others. They are issuing warnings. So here's the thing: people have money in banks. You know, right now is the time for you to get the money out of banks. You know, and then prepare to start uh, investing in the real estate market. Yeah, you, so you might say to me, oh, but the real estate market, Pastor Renner, you just said it's going down. Yeah, it's going down. And that's why you should get into it because there are a lot of rental properties or even not rental properties, you know, um, single family homes or all kinds of real estate that are now becoming more affordable. And then the banks are at risk. So you have real estate becoming more affordable because of the kinds of the crisis I've explained. So the Forbes is saying that housing markets are going to drop by 40% between now and 2023. We don't know when we're going to get to the bottom of the market. So what we want to do is that we want to have our cash ready. You know, we have a good credit history. We have to have like a, a good income so we can show to the banks that, okay, we got income so we can get credit to buy those homes. That's what you want to do right now. You know, homes are going down, so you want to buy them, they're becoming affordable. So homes that were a million dollars, you know, right now they're falling to about $900,000. Every month they're falling by maybe about 4%. By 2023, it's expected that maybe sometime around June, they would have less than 40% of their value. So if a house was maybe a million dollars last year, it's going to be worth like maybe $600,000 by maybe June next year. So it's a good time for you to take your money from banks because money at, uh, in banks right now are at risk. Why? Because it's looking like some banks may fail. If I mean, if you go back to the 2008 financial crisis, banks failed. Some of the biggest banks in the world failed, and it affected other banks. So you don't want to leave your money in banks. First and foremost, I mean, what interest rate are you getting? Very, very, very little. You know, it's very, very little. The interest rate that you're getting is, okay, inflation is 8.2 in America, and then interest rates are about like maybe 1.7. So, I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer. You know, you're losing money putting it in the bank. So you want to get that money out and then get ready to go into the real estate market in the United States, in England, in Ghana, in Kenya, in Nigeria, in Vietnam, in India, in Bangladesh, in, in Vietnam. That's what you want to do because the housing market right now is becoming more affordable. And then money in the banks are becoming at risk. And even if it's not at risk, you're not getting value for your money in the bank. So that's what you want to do. That is how to protect your money and then get ready for the new wave of wealth that is about to come. Now, my name is Ronald Murphy. I know what I've told you is a mouthful. However, if you have questions, put them in the comment section of this video and my staff are going to curate these comments. They're going to bring them to me and then I'll do my best to respond to them. But you got to remember, I do not have a WhatsApp, Quora, a Telegram channel or a, a, a Gmail email address. Scammers see that my videos tend to go viral, and so they've created a number of fake YouTube profiles. They approach people in the comment section after offering you phone numbers, WhatsApp numbers, and then they tell you to contact them. And when you contact them, they ask you to pay a thousand dollars, and you think you're paying money to me, and then you're getting scammed. And you come back to the comment sections of my videos. I say, Pastor Rona, you scammed me. I haven't scammed you. I'm warning you now. I don't ask for money from anybody. What I do is for free. This is one of the Apostle of Prosperity. Thank you for watching, and God bless you. But when who travels all around the world I hope you get inspired about what you see Apostle of greatness, Reno is a master Only one man against the old world in large Fighting with the monsters, poverty I can't stand That's why Reno is a